morning. It's 2 a.m. Saturday here in Manila, 9 p.m. Friday in Doha, Qatar. I'm Jackie Pascual. Here are the headlines this hour on ANC. Chief Justice Renato Corona returns to the witness stand and submits an unconditional waiver for his bank accounts. Corona says he has $2.4 million and not $12 million as alleged by Ombudsman Conchita Carpio Morales. The Chief Justice also admits having 80 million pesos in his accounts that are held in trust. Corona maintains he did not need to declare his dollar account in his salen as allowed by law. The defense no longer subjected him to a direct examination. The prosecution also did not cross-examine the ailing Chief Justice. Are you willing to reveal po kung magkano ang laman ng dollar accounts? Apo. Magkano po ang laman? Ang, sa umigit ko yung mulang po ay uh, uh, two point uh, 2.4 million US dollars pero gusto ko pong ipaliwanag yon na hindi yon pinasok sa bank banko ng 2.4 million dollars yun po ay binili over so many years at yung exchange rate po nun ay uh, nagumpisa nung una, ka nung una kami nung una akong bumili ay tutuwan pa ho nung mga 60s ay iniipong ko na po yun Nasa private sector naman po ako noon. Uh, wala ho ako sa gobyerno. Businessman Manny Pangilinan says government will shoulder 7 billion of the 35 billion pesos needed to build an elevated roadway that links the North and South Luzon Expressways. Pangilinan says that's the cost of settling right-of-way claims to his proposed 13.2 kilometer connector road that runs from C3 in Caloocan City to Buendia in Makati. Pangilinan's Metro Pacific Group is one of the two groups, the other being the San Miguel Back Skyway Operator Citra Metro Manila Tollways, whose proposals were received by government Wednesday. Out of the 35, 7 billion represent right, rights of way acquisition costs, and 28 billion represents the actual construction costs. So the expectation from our side is that the government will take care of the the appropriation rights. So from a uh, proportion standpoint, uh, we will take care of 80% of the total cost and government will take care of 20%. The president of the Vatican Bank has been ousted for allegedly not carrying out his fundamental functions. The board of directors passed a no-confidence vote in Ettore Gotti Tedeschi this comes as the bank tries to renew its ties with the world's financial community after it was hit by scandals. In 2010, investigators froze $33 million of its funds after opening an investigation into possible money laundering. Gotti Tedeschi says he was ousted because the bank did not like his honest way of doing things. We'll be back at the top of the next hour. Stay on ANC.